What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the actual DJI battery ejecting mid-flight. It does happen, it's happened to a couple of people. I'm going to show you how to avoid that from happening to you. Now if you're new to this channel, you're a cinematographer, photographer like myself, you love flying drones, anything about taking a photo and recording a video, consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Now if you've actually had your DJI Spark and your battery has ejected itself in mid-flight, leave a comment down below, I would actually love to hear about you guys. I want to know your story, has it happened to you, have you found a solution to it, is your drone dead? If it hasn't happened to you and you've actually worked around a solution to avoid that from happening, leave a comment down below. I want to I see what you guys have done. I want to learn from you guys. But I'm going to show you what I did to give me peace of mind after taking my drone up in the air. Basically, one thing to check when you have a faulty battery, if you do have a faulty battery. Now the battery's got these small clips. It's a small fragile little clip. They do work individually. If one fails, the other one will hold it perfectly fine. But the other, only problem about it is in order to check if you do have a faulty battery, push your battery in and you should be able to pull it out without any pressure. Now, as you can see, none of my batteries do that at all. Testing all three of my batteries. They're all perfectly fine, but it can happen. But the solution around it, you'll actually see there's, there's a small piece of Velcro on this side, on the actual drone's body itself. And if I put the battery back in, there's another piece of Velcro on the battery. Now those pieces line up. Another piece of cut Velcro. It's, always, it's obviously the piece that actually jo joins up to it. Now what you wanna do is you wanna stick the piece on, pull tight, extremely tight and stick it onto the other half. Do the same on the other side, stick it on, pull tight and there you go. That's my solution. It's just cheap Velcro that you can buy one side soft, one side hard, stick the hard side, cut the hard side in a couple of blocks, stick it on the body and the battery of the actual drone and then cut small thin strips to join the two together. Now what would happen, I'm actually pulling these clips loose and the drone's not, the battery's not detaching at all. Now that's gonna give me peace of mind once I take the drone up in the air because the last thing I want is my battery actually ejecting mid-flight and my drone plummeting to the ground and just being destroyed. If that has happened to you guys, please comment below, I wanna hear your story. If you're using the DJI Spark and you have no precautions, safety precautions taken at all, I would highly consider that you guys do this method or go check a couple of other videos. They also got a different method with the elastic band or whatever, but to me this actually looks the best. It's the strongest method. And once it drones up in the air, it's not gonna look bad. It's gonna look like it should be that way. If you own a Mavic, that's not a problem. Battery goes up top. You don't have to worry about this at all. But with the DJI Spark, try and prevent this from happening even if you've tested all your batteries and all your batteries are fine they could be fine today and tomorrow while you're in flight they just pop out once these clips are loose you see how easily the thing literally just shoots out you can loosen one clip loosen the other clip and the thing slides out now that will happen in mid air your drone will plummet to the ground your battery will be destroyed and you don't have a spark anymore if you guys found this video helpful Give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. And as I said, if this has happened to you before, comment down below, I wanna hear your story. If you found a different solution, which is a cheap and easier than mine, comment down below, I actually wanna hear about it. Click on the bottom left video for my tips on taking cinematic videos using a drone. In the bottom right corner is one of my short films. Have a look at it, you'll enjoy it. And before you click on any of the two videos, hit the subscribe button up top. I'll see you guys in the next one.